wait until everything kicks up and ready. So then, so it's been live, but there's no duration yet. Welcome to the stream, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Good morning, evening, afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are around the world. Welcome to the stream. Um, I've got a few things I do want to mention first. One being... Um, I'm not following the trend. I just want to do what I want to do. Second of all... Um, yeah, second of all... What else? What else? Oh, I've played this, like, lo yonks. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not doing this for a trend, I'm not doing this for anything. I just want to play some Fallout. I mean, I have watched the series. It's pretty good. It's fucking awesome. But, all I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not sure I'm trend following, alright? New Vegas. It's quite an old game. Played fucking long time since the last time. But, yeah. What's it? Nah, I'm not. No. Anyway, we're starting. Silence, cutscene, action. There we go. We want to hear it. 2025. Shit, that's next year. Oh, fucking cracking shot. There's me, lying on the floor. Tied up. Atomic fire consumed the earth. Those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. The great cons. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic. territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world, and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. Across the Colorado, Another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held... By the way, that is the only time that, ne it, that it's named perfectly, like, right. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business, under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House. Right. Army of rehabilitated tribal and police. This is re-education for me, ladies and gentlemen. I already know about the NCI. I already know about everybody. By the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. 
Mm hmm What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the world. Mm. You got what you were after, so pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Time to catch up. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I have to think. Dig. You made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling, must seem like an 18 carat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. Now that, ladies and gentlemen, is an opening if I've ever had one for a fucking video game. This is why I love Fallout so much. Just sick. Fallout's just awesome. Also, they forgot to mention the Brotherhood of Steel. Um, so they mentioned Caesar's Legion, bro uh, NCR, the Khans, but they didn't mention the Brotherhood of Steel or the other ones. The fucking... What are they called? I can't remember. Anyway, we're waking up. Yeah, I'm awake. Oh, God, I got a bad headache. Fuck. Huh? Okay. Alright. My name. I can't say it's what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mason. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride Fuck in it, my what? Work, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. That's... How'd I do? Oh, a bit boy. Well, first things first, I don't like that. Very old game, I just remembered. Look how flat that dude's face is. And a big ass nose. What the flip flap? Right, we're going with Caucasian because that's what I look like. Uh, slightly closer. Customize. Eye colour. Brown. There we go. Tone. Slightly turned. No. Age. Quite young. Hairstyle. Perfect. Right. That's a clean cut. A pompadour. We ain't busting no no blue suede shoes. Oh, I just want a normal haircut like a comb over or some shit. There we go. We we'll just go with that one. Hair color, bleach brown. That's brown. Chocolate, that sounds good, yeah. Go with that one. Facial hair. Survivalist, rough beard. I don't have any of these. Best I could probably grow is a goatee, but I'm going to probably beat Nick so much.
Mephistopheles. What the fuck? I do like that. Yeah, that's rough with it. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, fuck it. it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Ah, my legs. God, Jesus Christ. Good. Thank God I'm still tall. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Where are my legs? Take Bigger tester now. machine. Yes, Doc. Oh. You were looking good so far. Mm. Go it's looking good, so. We'll learn Trying. Quick if you get back all your faculties. Hmm. Bit of Mac. Oh, okay. Uh huh. Oh. Strength. Okay. Um. Let's, hold on. Yeah, so, we've got strength. Alright, we're going to take everything down. And we're going to get all of our points. Right, strength. <coughs> we're going to say a... Eight. Mm -mm. Perception. Which one is it? That is charismatic endurance perception. Um. Mm. I'm gonna say. Big old tiger. Oh, I'm gonna say monocle falcon. What's life for hook? Eagle with a telescope. Fuck it. Uh, this affects your. What's the other one effect? Just your score, it ain't cheating. <laughs> All right. Endurance. Oh no. <laughs> Unstoppable, no. I'd say. Mm, yeah. I'm gonna say cheery salesman. That's that's roughly it. Wouldn't say I'm gifted. I'm quite a knucklehead. I'm not a cretin or a vegetable or sub brick, so it does repair. Um, still got agility to go for. Fuck. Um, there's another one in there. Luck, yeah. Wait there, let's just... So... Right, okay, so if we just have six all across the board... Uh, we can't do that. So five all across the board? And then we'll go for strength. I'd say probably charisma. I'm 
strength. So if you can talk your way out of a situation, it's quite... I might just do that, yeah. So what was it? So some folks claim not to believe in luck, but when they lose in a duel, you'll hear some say, that lucky son of a gun. Hmm. 21 leaf clover. Three, four leaf clovers. Wait. No. See, I don't think luck is like. Say a coin flip, yeah, fuck it. Still say a cheery salesperson. And then strength can have them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. We should have it now. Which one do I take away? There we go. Well, that's a pretty standard score there, but after what you've been through, I'd say that's great news. Well, mm -hmm. the vitals are good, but that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nutter than a bighorn and drop them. What do you say you mm. take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. Okay. Uh, and I'm naked. Why am I naked? All right. What's going on here? I'm gonna say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. Shit. Oh, okay. Dog. Feet. House. Um. Nice. Shelter. Green. Night campfire. Enemy. Enemy. <laughs> Crush. <laughs> Vaporize. Reasonable. <laughs> no. Um. We'll say. Light. Yeah. We'll reason. Light. Mike. Dark. Order. <laughs> Shout. Ah, oh, that's funny. Uh, I'd say jeans. Okay. Now I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. Hmm. Conflict just ain't in my nature. I would agree to some retrospect. I'm quite a chill person to be honest if you came up to me and you had a problem like with me i'd just try and talk it out more than anything so because i don't want anyone getting hurt so i say agree to rely on, on others for support hmm i disagree I'm on that always fixing to be the center of attention mm, disagree I'm slow to embrace new ideas Charging disagree my problems head on yes Almost I strongly agree with that what do you say you have a look at this tell me what you see what do I see I see a canvas what looks like a gunshot or however way you want to look at it like if you turn it upside down it looks like a top of a building uh, chemical reaction possibly yeah it looks like a nuclear explosion a little bit um, shadow of a door in a door frame, huh? Fuck you, seeing that an oozing wound. It looked like clouds more than anything. An angry two-headed ant. No, 
and he's in wound. I don't see that shadow in the door for a chemical reaction. Probably, yeah. How about this one? Fuck am I meant to see? I see a priceless work of art. Don't know what you're fucking looking at, mate. Some space age technology? Mm, no, I see more of like a. <clears throat> I would say a ship at sea, but uh, I'm too embarrassed to say what it looks like. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say a ship at sea. Last one. Light in the darkness. A bearded man. Mushroom cloud, that's not a mushroom cloud. That looks like the head of a pillow. And it doesn't look like any of those. So I'm going to just say a light in the darkness. Well, that's all she wrote. Don't okay. To, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. Ah, okay. All right. Right, okay, here we go. Right. <clears throat> Tag three skills. I I reckon I could barter something. Um say s speech. And hmm. they're quite high already, so I'd say science. Recycle energy weapons and ammunition at workbenches. Huh? Okay, alright. Hmm. Before What's I that done? You loose, I need one more thing from you. You got a Go ahead. Just a formality. Okay. Ain't like I expect okay. to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. <laughs> You're funny, mate. You're funny. Two, choose up to two traits or none. Uh, all right. And so, mm, well, wait, uh, one persistence. Well, I got you have minus one persistence. Good natured. You have 10 plus action points, but your reckless nature causes you to have minus 2 damage to the threshold. Uh, um, small frame, no. Uh, Required trigger discipline. While using guns and energy weapons, you fire 20% more slowly, but you are 20% more accurate. Ooh. <laughs> On a wild wasteland unleashes the most bizarre and silly elements of post-apocalyptic America. Not for the faint of heart or the serious of temperament. You know what? It'd be my sort of luck that I'd come across some shit like that. So, yeah. Um, I, I would, I would come past something like that. Okay. I need clothes, mate. I'm sorry to... Be a pain in your ass, Mr. Mitchell or Dr. Mitchell. But I need clothes, unfortunately. Oh, I can take these? Who's calling me? Oh, Bay's calling me. Hold on. Ladies and gentlemen, you're all going to have to wait. My missus is calling me, so. Thank you. Right, oh, okay, okay. Um, I don't want to.
take bottle caps because they're not yeah, These are yours. You had all your in. I hope there you don't you mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a pip boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We all got one. Mm. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style anyway. Hold on, he just said he's used to having something taken away from him or something. Something along those lines, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if I'm connecting the docs, but Doc Mitchell slightly reminds me of the bloke from Fallout 4. If you choose the bloke, of course. Because he grew, he was before the war. This is, of course, after the war. Um, he grew up in one of those vaults. No, that don't make sense. No, that no, won't be. Thanks for patching me up, Doc. Uh, don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon Sunny Smiles, the okay. At the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to. Okay, thank you. Anymore. I'll try. No, I just want to play the game. Ain't that a kick in the head? Yeah, yeah, here we go. I know. I know what to do. Right. Vault, tw Vault 21 jumpsuit. Okay. Which button is that? To... There we go. How are we looking? Yeah, we look pretty good actually, to be honest. Um, right. First things first. We're not going to take his hat. We're not going to steal anything from this lovely man. This man has offered to save our lives. Um, but it does look like we can't. We're not really stealing anything. We're just going to be walking in and out of this bloke's house. So. I th personally think we should just go and do what we've been sent to do. <sighs> God damn it. Right, Sunny Smiles. Good springs. Nice. Oh. There's a robot. Hey, buddy. Howdy, partner. Oh, you're Victor. Nice. Thanks for digging me out of there, brave. No, there's men. Uh... Some of the fine folks in town might be able to help you out with that. Oh, we haven't seen a Securitron in the fucking. In the. What's it called? In the. In the series, the TV show, we haven't seen a Securitron yet. A lot that I know of. Um, only seen a Mr. Handy being kicked about, but that's it. There's slight spoilers about in these streams, by the way. But uh, thanks for digging me out of that grave. Don't mention it. I'm always ready to lend a helping hand to a stranger in need. Damn straight. How did you happen to find me? I was out for a stroll that night when I heard the commotion up the old bone orchard. So it looked like a bunch of bad eggs, so I laid low. Once they'd run off, I dug you up to see if you were still kicking. Turns out you were. So I hauled you off to the dock right quick. No. I was never seen a robot. Robin Co. Secured Model 26 to be. If you ever see any of my brothers, tell them Victor says howdy. No. Happy trails. Oh, he sounded really sincere about that. Oh, I don't know what to say. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. 
Right. Saloon. Prospect of Saloon. Alright. Hey. Howdy. What's your name? What can Easy P do for <coughs> Do you know anything about the people the who attacked me? Suit seem to be calling the shots. As in much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though, if you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Why are you called Easy Pete? Well, I was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now, we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Bighorner. Ah, you were a prospector, like digging for gold and silver? No, we already know what a prospector is. Oh, if I can... Nah, nah. Means I poke through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never like the term. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, chems, spare parts, good money in it. Hmm. Nope. Had a pretty good claim once, way out east by the river, but got run off by raiders. Eventually got too old to keep going out. No. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here, like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. Hmm, okay. Well, we've got to see Sunny, whoever the fuck that bitch is, but... I already know who she is, but I'm just playing the Cheyenne force of the character. Don't worry. Yeah, hello. No, not yet. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, I've already got that one. Right. Okay, thank you. You, you what? Oh, oh right, okay. Oh, okay. Nice. Right. That's fine. Yeah, anyway, right. Love ya. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I'll see you in a bit. Oh, possibly, yeah. Uh, possibly. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll find out. Yeah. Rabbit, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll do that later on. Alright. Alright, love you. Alright, see you later. Nice little visit from my mum there. Doc Mitchell said you could teach me to survive in the desert. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside. Hold on. Do you, hold on. No. I wanted to ask you some questions. Then we could talk. Preferably somewhere where I can get a stiff drink and Cheyenne can keep cool. Oh, you piss take. Yeah. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. You've already given me one. Nice. All right. Hit a couple of them. Look on the side. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Oh, does it? Nice. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what. I gotta go chase geckos away from a water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Follow me.
But my time of playing this game, I do know for a fact that if you're carrying your fucking gun, you move slower, so... Slower, sorry. God, it's weird starting again. It's weird, like, as I say, I've, I've got Xbox at my dad's that says... Like, there's a save on there that's like 99 hours and 99 minutes. Fine. Gotta say, the poster in that the the opening scene was 2025. That's next year. Imagine if it all does actually go tits up and we have to do this. We have to like live off against each other. I'm fine with that. I could do that, but I wouldn't know where to get a gun though, and especially in England. So, but then there's a gun, is it? And then there's a fucking. I'd just I'd use my Roman reenactment sword. I'd just sharpen that up. Each time. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos. Yeah. Like, bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get a jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Okay. Okay, you're on. Go give him hell. Mm. Go give him hell? Okay. Oh. So, right ahead of me. Which button is it? For fucking... Ah, you're there. I got you. Right. Yeah, perfect. Oh, you missed. Hmm. What did you have? Gecko hide. Worth? No, oh, ten. Perfect. We'll take that. simple. Pretty easy. It's what we like to see. It's like listening to a Dalek. <laughs> Your room's a bit messy. Thank you, babe. See? Thank you. You're getting the hang of it. There's two more wells that still need clearing. If you want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Shouldn't take yeah, fuck it. Minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. No, I'm going to meet her. Okay, fair enough. Do sure. She's giving me a rifle. Tied it up, tramp. <laughs> Real funny. Shot in the neck. Nice. I know I am. Enjoy your game. Thanks, babe. That's why I love her because she's just so amazing to me. There we go. Hold on.
some people, you work just isn't good enough for them. Then, they, well, it's a part of life. But you did what you promised. Stay. One more thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land. All right then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some sand root and a rock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen rock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being sand root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me. Why is she on her knees? She's not on her knees. She's standing. So I've got to go to the graveyard and the schoolhouse, right? Okay. Gun's not very, very good at the moment. So, on a brook flower and Xander root. Oh, hold up! A bitch died down here, didn't she? I was literally on the rock. I literally just watched her die. Looks like it. Short ass bitch. <laughs> Where did that bit? So they ran from over here. There, yeah, there she is. She's got a cleaver. She's dead. So field hand outfit. Nah, I'll take the cleaver though. The bot caps, they're mine. Alright. Just to give her a well rested death. I don't know if she's actually dead, but hey, hey. Oh, come on. Surely one of them should blow up her head. Oh, okay. My, my, my gun is in poor condition. Right, I'm going to go do the quest now, so. There we go. Alright. Right, bye. Love you. Call me when you're done. Okie dokie. I'll rush down. Alright. Oh, I assume up there's where the graveyard is? I'm not too sure. Can't really remember too much. I remember absolutely being riddled, like, rich in this game. Now I'm just poor again. Right. On the road again. It just so happens that I'm on the road again. I'm on another adventure on the road again. Alright, back at Groot Good Springs. Uh so we need to go up to the graveyard, which is up there, and then we need to go to the old schoolhouse. So what we'll do, we'll do that and we'll uh get on our way. Little dust devil, nice. So I take it this, so one of these buildings is a schoolhouse. One of them. I suppose, where would it be? This is Dot Mitchell's house. Ah, I see the school. What the fuck are you? Oh, you're empty. Pointless. What's the point of attacking me if you're empty? Alright, so I need some Brock thing. Oh, hello. Hello. I'm just gonna. Shot the bitch straight out of the sky. Plus, if you don't fire with with the uh, vats, it makes it easier to fire your guns and stuff. Is that one? Absolutely love it. It's good target practice as well. Are you guys hearing that as well? Voices. I need a shovel. Hmm. Oh, oh, 
look at that. Just blew open its jaw. Fucking sweet. Nice. Alright. Boat fly. Is that worth it? You're not worth it either. What's going on? What's going on with this place? Let me try and have a good old time. Ah, right. We see New Vegas in the distance. Quite a distance, that is. Hmm. Yeah, I don't mean we're going to go down there and try and take on whatever we're going to take on, but don't think it's a good idea. Oh, is that what you... Yeah, brought flower. That's what we needed. Um, is there any more up here? Oh, snow globe. Limited edition Mojave landmark snow globe. Uh, these are rare pre-war artifacts are widely considered to be useless baubles, but rumour has it some collectors will be paid dearly for them. Oh, okay. As long as I've got one of them, that's all that matters. And they can start trying to find me, I assume. Um, yeah, okay. Right, and then to the school, which is all the way over there. So, off we go, guys. We're going on an actual adventure. We don't know what the fuck we're doing. That's the this one. Why it gunshots already? Don't be doing that, man. I'm gonna go see what I can either sell or buy from the dude in the shop. These bikes look so cool as well. I'd love to see if we could, like, possibly make one for the Fallout universe, you know? That would be pretty, pretty fucking neat, so... Oh, I remember last time. So when I when I was originally playing this game, right, ladies and gentlemen, I kid you not, I fucking this dude, this Chet, Chet died. All right, I'm just gonna say that for free. I heard it. I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting okay. the caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo. In the miscellaneous section, <coughs> but you get what you pay for. Hmm. Show me what you have to say. Cat's back in my pocket. That's fucking what we wanted, right? Okay. So we got five, five, six arm ammo. Thanks. What makes surplus ammo? So? It's all about quantity over quality. Trouble is, you'll be cleaning and fixing your gun a lot more than usual when you use those kind of bullets. Oh, okay. Right. Weapon mods are things like silencers, scopes, bigger magazines. Special ammo includes things like armor-piercing bullets, which don't hurt the target as much, but let you punch through armor easier. There's also hollow-point bullets, which have the opposite effect. You can kill unarmored targets easier. Can do. Tell me what you have for a set. Um, what guns do you have? Boxing gloves, dynamite, plasma pistol, a silence. Why is one? Ah, uh, okay. Oh, shovel. We do need that, though, so we'll take that with us. Uh, that's 15 caps. That's bang on. Uh, I don't think the f plasma pistol will be very good early on, so I think it's because we don't have none of the things either, so we'd probably... Persistence 1, really? Pre-war hut. I'll uh, make it 16 caps, we'll chuck it together then. Thanks. Okay, Jet, uh, um, what'd you know about? 
Typical city boy. He had a bunch of great cons with him, probably hired guns. The great cons normally stay in their own territory way up northwest, on account of them being enemies with the NCR. Hmm, okay. Good information. Have you ever been to New Vegas? Times I drank a lot of liquor and lost most of my caps at the card table. In that order, now that I think about it. If you ever get to New Vegas, be sure to visit Gamora. It's the best casino in the city. You won't regret it. Word of advice. Behave. Between the NCR military police and Mr. House's robots, you don't want to be causing trouble on the strip. Okay. Well, I'd like to know more oh, about yeah, Mr. House. Myself. Mr. House has got his own casino, Lucky 38, but nobody goes in or out except his robots. The other casinos follow Mr. House's rules, so I guess that makes him the leader of New Vegas. As far as I know, nobody's ever laid eyes on the guy. I think that robot who pulled you out of the dirt belongs to Mr. House. If Mr. House is looking after you, it's got to be a good thing, right? Anything you can tell me of? But not crazy. They'll leave you alone unless you got something they want. The Great Khan's dealing illegal chems. There's a good chance that most chems you come across were made by Great Khan's. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I don't mean to. Right. First things first. Free war heart. Right, and now to the school. Right. Take some of that as well. If I remember correctly, the things in this building is like fucking. Like, they're mantises. That's what they are. You're a big horn, aren't you? You're not enemies, so... Yeah, there you go, man. The snimps. There we go. Right. Danger. Damn straight. I don't even know if these fours. Nah. Nothing of value. Thank God bugs don't have ears. Oh, okay. But they do have fucking... Jumped. Hey. Bitch. Oh. Lock is empty. Don't need a cup. Um, fuck it. Ithkia. Ithkia? Ithkia? Am I reading that right? I don't know. I'm not too sure. Fucking. Right, let's check these bitches. Oh, we've got stuff in here. Wonder glue we'll definitely take on with us. This. Bobby pin, Bobby pin. 
Uh, what else? Mm. No, wa wa washo. Box detergent. Mm. No. Mm. No, Brooks are cleaner. If it's worth five. Oh, it's got a mountainous egg. Nice, okay. Hmm. Right. Let's go check that other egg first. Mountainous eggs, nice. We'll sell those on. Get money. Open for foot locker. Scrap metal. We'll take that. What's this? Programmer's digest. Right. Some terminals are protected and can't be accessed without a password. If your science skill is high enough, you can attempt a hacker terminal. Selecting the correct password will grant you access. If your guess is incorrect, you will be shown how many letters match the correct password and in the correct location. You have four tries to guess correctly. If you fail, the terminal will remain inaccessible until you own the password. You can exit hacking at any time and try again. However, exiting the terminal will force the security to reset, uh, delaying your ability to start hacking again. <coughs> okay. The way I always thought about it was the place I'm in. <laughs> and what has it got to do with the building that I'm in? So we would be teaching, so you'd be writing. So, two out of seven. Okay, so I ain't writing. Any time. Origins. One out of seven, correct. Okay. So, writing... Is it hunting? Three out of seven. Okay, I've got one attempt left. So, it'd be... I'm wasting... Or meeting bastard. Right, okay. Skill of twenty five really? To pick this lock? Need skill of twenty five to pick this lock. Okay. Really? Okay. Salesman's weekly. Okay. So I've now got to try and find we will take the one that goes though. A password, a password, a password. Where would the pa If I was a password, where would I be? Um, open the mailbox. There's got to be something around there, surely. They need a broom. I'm going to need a poo in a minute. Cherry bomb. I don't know. I'm actually really confused. What would the password be? So, is there a book anywhere around here that has something? Um, sunny side school. Sunny. Okay, not the box cup. Hmm. So, who would be in here to, uh, you know? Oh, would it be in a school desk? Oh, hold on. Large Scorch book. Can I read said Large Scorch book? No? Oh, I can only drop it. Right, right, okay. Sad it doesn't give you a password of any type. Because otherwise you'd be able to get a password and then... I don't know what about. I'm checking for spiders. In my room. Anyway, right, yeah, I don't know why, uh, what would the password be? Hold on, I think it sets up, resets after a minute. Um, 
Ch -ch -ch -ch. Is there seriously nothing? So I do shit like this and it just gets me into places that I don't need to get to, so um so there's this, there's a Braxo cleaner. Um I'm not too sure to be honest guys. I think I've I've, I've probably faffed it, but did I come through this door? No I didn't. I came through that door, didn't I? Yeah, on this side. Oh, okay. <clears throat> oh, is this the thing I've come for? Jalapeno. No, we didn't come here for jalapenos. We came here for something else. What did we come here for? Up by the schoolyard. Is it one of these? No. She was telling me that it was like a like a plant or some shit. What's hold on, we can pull up the the thing in a second, so uh data no quests. Uh find rock flower and xander root. Right, xander root. Mm. Xander root. <laughs> Probably not the same thing, but um I'm trying to think of where you would hide a password. Xander root and find Xander root in here actually to be honest because it's large ruined book. Um, Hmm. Hmm. Skill of 25 to pick this lock. Even though... Oh, there is a keyhole. Okay, my mistake. I was gonna be like, there's no keyhole, so what am I gonna fucking do with it? <laughs> ah, it's probably somewhere. I'm just being stupid. Have I got both of those? Xander mm. route. Where the, it said, she did, definitely said by the schoolyard, didn't she? I've got the Brock flower from the graveyard. The Xander route. Where the fudge cake route? Oh, I'm. I'm, I'm Potentially looking for weed, then, ain't I? Oh, just what I was looking for. Right, bring uh, the, uh, the campfire. Okay, let's go over this way. See, this isn't so bad, ladies and gentlemen. You can just enjoy this lovely game and just, you know, just get on with it, really. Plus, not only that, I've got, I've got to admit that I wasn't one for repairing my weapons when I was, like, literally originally playing this. But I think I was, like, 17, maybe 18, just replaying it again. And I was like, mm-mm.
Hey yo, why are you running away? God damn, he just blew his fucking brains out of his head. Mm-hmm. I saw that on the way as well. Mm-hmm. Right. Let's just camp. Is this it? Is this the camp? Or is it down there? It's probably down there. Oh, right in front of me. Hey, hey Sonny. Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. All right, now. We're going to be making something folks on the trail call healing power. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. Ah, uh, healing powder. I do the cocaine. Hey, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Shine would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Okay. Trudy at the Prospector Saloon. I'm going to get there a lot quicker than you are, love. So, just going to let you... Gonna drink, uh, and let's get back on the road. On the road again, I just can't help it, uh, on the road again. See, I could just go sell all the extra shit that I've just got to that dude in the shop again. And then, um, yeah. I hear gunshots a lot, is that, that's worrying. See, I've never played Fallout with these headphones, and it's actually like making the immersion a lot better. So, gotta say, well done to the Vantage X Hunter Mark II sort of thing. It's pretty good. Pretty good. If you know, if you don't mind me saying. Also. Oh, yeah, right, now I know I understand why how all of America is just nuked. Right. <clears throat> Before the war, the Americans, if I'm getting this right, came up with a new power source, nuclear energy, which was able to power everything, bikes, cars, and it would be mainly with these little things called fusion cores. But at the time, fusion cores weren't really a thing. Uh, besides, uh, in guns, so, if I'm correct, I might be wrong, I don't mind if I am wrong, by the way, I just... Done here nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm gonna get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. What do you want? Same old shit that's been going on for years. The NCR and Legion are still fighting over Hoover Dam for some reason. He's some traitor who decided he'd rather shoot than pay the toll for being in our territory. He's hiding somewhere in town. It served these idiots right if me and my guy shot the place up after we got paid back on Ringo. Well, you've been causing Literally ran out. Don't worry, off as well. See, Trudy, I'm now going to say to you, uh, you can have all my useless shit, so... Go, go, go hide. There you go. Um, you can have my hammer, but you can have my... My mantis eggs. Um, but yeah, the rest of the shit is mine, so. Mm -hmm. 
I gotta keep those. Looks like I don't know. Drive in the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor Ringo comes into town. He says, "Bad men after him. He's a place to hide." We figured he was just in shock, so we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually mm. expect anyone to come after him. Yeah, but with people like this, love, you got kind of um. Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, oh, I my dad's gone in. I'll be right with him. Right, 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 yo. Right. It's 40 quid, right? I'm gonna have to try and get a tenner from somewhere. Or a tenner. Right, okay. Powder gaggers? Really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Mm. Where is He's Ringo now? The abandoned gas station up the hill. Why not just kill Cobb and be out? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. Right, never mind, let's talk all about right. something else. What happens if I help Ringo? If you go out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the powder gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. So, I help Ringo and Good Springs will like me more. What if I help the powder gangers? Oh. Don't know why you want to do a thing like that. Yep, you get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. Okay. Who was that man you were arguing with? Just without the chains. Said his name was Cobb. Powder gangers is what they call themselves. Plenty more like him out there. Hmm. Be careful out there. Alright. <clears throat> Let's go and help this fella, whoever he is, or whoever he may be. Hello. Cheyenne going in. Right, um. What's this? Reloading bench? No, we don't need that. Workbench. There we go. Oh, really? Can I not? Break down scrap metal to lead. 
Oh, okay. Two hundred lead. Five five six, what's that? Five five six. Uh thirteen lead powder powder rifle. Primer small rifle. Ammo breakdown. Oh okay, right. Oh, I'm gonna need a poo in a second. Um, I'm gonna leave it here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this first episode of uh, Fallout New Vegas, feel free to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell for when we next play this. Uh, and yeah, uh, just hopefully see you guys around some other time. So, see you in the wasteland, ladies and gentlemen. See you in the wasteland. It's a way to end the stream, that is.